Okay, so we're gonna be making this big and warm bulky beanie. This is a super fast and easy project, great for beginners. You're gonna need a 16 millimeter Q hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle for bulky yarn. So you want the large end. And what we're using for yarn is Sprightly Yarns Acrylic Wool Super Bulky. This is exclusive to Craftsy, so you can order this yarn online and it is a super bulky six and you can see that it's a very nice and thick bulky yarn okay so i'm using the color grayish and we're going to begin by making a magic circle you wrap the yarn through your fingers and then around your index three times and what you want to do is put your hook through all three loops on your finger grabbing the first and pull it through and chain two to secure your ring. So now we're gonna work double crochets into this ring and we're gonna wanna work 12. So to double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, go into your ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So there's our first double crochet made. Yarn over, go through the ring, pull a loop, yarn over, go through two, go through two. Yarn over, go through the ring, pull up a loop. So now you've got three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So now I have three. So you're gonna wanna put 12, it's gonna be tight, but you're gonna wanna put 12 all in this ring. So I'm gonna continue and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I've done 12 double crochets in my ring. So pulling your work aside, now you can see your ring and now take your tail and start to pull it. So as you can see, this one's going in, this one's not. So now take that loop that's pulled in and that will pull in your other loop and then you take your tail and pull that. So now we have a nice tight ass top to the top of our hat. So now what you're gonna do is join so this was our chain two, our beginning chain two, and then this is the top of our first double crochet. So we're gonna join in the top of that first double crochet. Okay, so now we're joined. And you should have 12 stitches all the way around. Now we're gonna start into our seed stitch pattern for this hat. As you can see, it's a nice texture. Uh, gives some interest rather than just plain doubles or singles. So we're gonna start out by chaining one and we're gonna do a single crochet into that very first stitch here. You can see the hole. So go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So that's your single crochet. The next, sorry, in the same stitch, cause we're gonna increase around this round, we wanna double the amount of stitches. So we're gonna do a single and a double in that very first stitch. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So in our next stitch, we're gonna do one single crochet and one double crochet. And in the next stitch, a single crochet and a double crochet. And then you're just gonna repeat this all the way around. And we're gonna end with a double crochet, but I will meet you at that final stitch. Okay, so I've worked all the way around and I'm to my final stitch. So we're gonna add a single crochet and a double crochet into that stitch. Now 
And there we can see there's our very first single crochet stitch and we're just gonna join into that stitch. Pull through with a slip stitch. Okay, so now we should have 24 stitches. This is as large as we're gonna make this hat. It's gonna fit an average size adult head, about 21 and a half inches to 22 and a half inches. And it's got lots and lots of stretch and it's gonna be nice and bulky and warm. If you wanna make this hat slightly smaller, just change up your starting round. So if you need this hat a little bit tinier, start out with only 11 double crochet instead of 12 double crochet and then that would give you a total of only 22 stitches as opposed to 24 and even bring it right down to 20 instead of 24 for maybe a smaller child's head so now our pattern here from our previous round is a single and a double single double so now this time we're going to put a double into the we're starting it with a double so that will go into the single from the previous round and then we'll put a single crochet in the double from the previous round so we're going to chain two to begin and then in that first stitch we're going to add a double crochet and in this next stitch we're going to add a single crochet So this is our seed stitch pattern and it gives us a nice sort of woven look throughout. It also looks really nice if you alternated colors, if you wanted a striped look. So a single, and a double. And I'm just gonna continue with this pattern all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I've worked all the way around and this time we're ending with a single crochet stitch. And then now we're joining, there's our chain two and we're joining into the top of the first double crochet. And then the next round we're going to just chain one because this round will now start with a single crochet and then we'll do a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet all the way around. So our circle looks pretty big right now. It's not starting to move in, but as we continue with non-increase rounds, it will start to take the form of a hat. Okay, so we're doing a single crochet into the first and a double crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet. And this is basically all we're gonna do until we get our desired length of our hat. And then I will show you how to do the band. So we'll just repeat this all the way around. Okay, so I've worked to the end of this round and I'm ending with a double crochet. And then I just slip stitch into that starting single crochet to join. And then we'll chain two. And we're just gonna repeat these rounds, so one round we will begin with the single, um, chain one and a single, and then the next, a chain two and a double. Just alternating as we go. So as you can see, after that third round of seed stitch, we're beginning to see the hat starting to take form. Okay, so I'm just completing my eighth round in total, and I'm ending with a double crochet in that final stitch and slip stitch to don't join okay and we'll take a little measure just so you can see how your hat compares 
So our hat is about nine and a half inches in width and about seven inches in length at this point. So before you move on to the band, you might wanna just check and see how your hat compares. So to start out the band, we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. So chain one and then single crochet into each stitch. And I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around. Okay, so I'm just coming to my last stitch. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. And chain one. So for now the next two rounds, what we're gonna do is work in the back loop only. So here's our front loop and here's our back loop. So go down through just that back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Then into the next one, through the back loop only, yarn over and pull through two. And this just gives our band a little bit of a unique edge. So you can see that line there. And we're just gonna work in the back loop all the way around our hat. Okay, so I finished in the last stitch and then we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet to join and chain one and then we're going to work do the same thing again for this round so working into the first stitch just working one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch around And then you just finish with a slip stitch, fasten off and pull it through. So you'll have a little bit of an edge up the back of your hat. But that's how your hat's gonna look. And then you just need to take your threading needle, your yarn needle and just weave in your end to finish it off. This is a super quick project. I just like to do this on the inside. You probably can make this hat in a half an hour or less. So you just weave that. You can trim that when you're finished and there you go.